right, welcome to yet another fabulous Sinner Report. That is usually Sunday night news and nonsense, but it's Saturday night because apparently Toss is too good to join us on Sunday, isn't it? <coughs> uh, <coughs> excuse me, the government the, sh- <laughs> the uh, government shutdown has affected my <coughs> health. <coughs> is that so? Say, is the government still shut down? I thought I uh, saw something that it wasn't. They finally got their act together a few days ago to avoid economic, you know, catastrophe, but leave it to Congress to promote the word con ingress. Oh, come on. We have been in economic, you know, uh, megalomania for the past 20 years, Toss. Uh, it didn't seem like it was just bad that long ago, was it? <laughs> Let's move uh, on. All right. Well, looks like Ubuntu is making a lot of news. As you know, uh, uh, Ubuntu released like eight different flavors. I've reviewed four of them and that sort of thing. And uh, But, yeah, I, I think you'll talk about that a little bit. But it looks like Mark Shuttleworth brands uh, mere opponents the Open Source Tea Party. In a blog post, Mark Shuttleworth sends his uh, congrats to the Ubuntu developers uh, in the recent release of 13.10 and talks about uh, 1404's code name called uh, Trusty Tar. And uh, he also takes aim at what he calls uh, the open source tea party. He writes, Mira's already important work when lots of competitors attack a project on purely political grounds. You have to wonder what their agenda is. At least we know now who belongs to the open source tea party. So apparently, you know, um, he's not happy about, you know, peepee, people not embracing, you know, his mere thing and that sort of thing. How do you see that, Toss? Well, I'm not exactly sure what that means, the open source uh, tea party. I mean, I know there's been a lot of controversy with Ubuntu since Ubuntu what, 12.10 with the inclusion of the, you know, uh, the uh, online uh, search, the Amazon ads and the scopes and the supposed, uh, you know, privacy and the spying issue. I mean, yes. there's no. Th- yes. Now, look, I will talk about this in a later uh, video, but. I will state tonight that I'm going to 100% defend Mark Shuttleworth, Mark Shuttleworth and Ubuntu because they have given users like me a choice, a feature to include online searching in the uh, in the in the uh, in in this in the search, uh, you know. And really, like in one of those things, if if you don't like it. Just shut the damn thing off. So all you wimps out there complaining about, you know, the ads and the spying, I have a solution. Just don't install Ubuntu. Yes, but Toss, my concern is, let's say somebody brand new coming over from Windows, okay, you know, they install Ubuntu because everybody recommends Ubuntu. I mean, that's usually everybody's first distro that they try out before they move on to Mint and that sort of thing. You know, my concern is they're going to see all of these Amazon ads popping up, and they're not going to immediately know how to remove this stuff, and there's no option to opt out of this in the installer, and that's my concern, you know, that some people may be put off by this and then just may decide, mm, you know what, I'm not going to use Ubuntu at all, or any to- Linux at all. I'm totally, totally with you on that as far as the, there is not an opt-out option in the installer. But once you install it, there will be people like you and I and others saying, hey, if, if you don't like this, this is how you switch it off. Personally, I don't think it's that big of a, big of a deal. But that's, that's strictly my opinion. But I think with this, it's much ado about not too much. Now, on a happier note, though, uh, for those of you who are familiar with the Quids Up show on YouTube, he is your one-stop uh, source for everything Ubuntu. Uh, the same day he released his uh, 1310 uh, review of uh, Ubuntu, he also put up a tutorial on removing those scopes. So if you guys want information on how to do that, definitely check out the Quids Up, the Quids Up channel. Yeah, absolutely. What you got, Toss? Well, it seems that... Lenovo is going to release a laptop called the A10 featuring not Windows 8, but Android. I, I came across this a few days ago. I, I don't have all of the particulars, but apparently they are not happy uh, with the sales of Windows 8, and they will be offering an alternative. I thought it would have been Chrome OS, but apparently, Spatry, it's going to be Android. What say you about that? 
You know, it's funny because uh, I ran into that article, and I think it was last week when I saw that, and uh, I think this is this is a wonderful idea because the thing is, a lot of people have Android devices. They're very pleased with how it works. You know, uh, they you know they're you know they're happy with their Android devices, and so this is going to give them that air familiarity they need, and it could just be that push that could uh, get those people to start using Android. Android slash Linux, and then eventually move on to uh, a GNU slash Linux distro. Because, let's face it, you know, um, Android uses a Linux kernel, so you know if you buy a computer that has Android installed, all the peripherals and everything that are installed on it are working, you know, then you can eventually just take that off and put on a different distribution of your liking. So, yeah, more power to you, IBM. That's a wonderful idea, and IBM is well known for making very good computers. Uh, every IBM computer that I've ever owned in the past lasts me many years, um, so they make a good rock-solid product. So, yeah, definitely good news. Yeah, my current desktop is a Lenovo with Windows 7, rock-solid. I'm curious to see if this Android laptop sells more than Windows 8. That would be very interesting to see indeed. You know what, speaking of Windows 8, one of my subscribers sent me a message. Apparently, the latest update to Windows 8, 8.1, uh, I believe the tablet version, not the desktop version. If you install that, <laughs> I guess you are going to get the blue screen of death. Uh, now, uh, is he talking about installing this over your installation that you have now, or just doing a fresh install? I believe this is just an update from 8 to 8.1, which I believe uh, which I believe offers the start button or something similar to the start button functionality. Microsoft did quickly make an announcement that they are are aware of this, but if you are running the RT Surface tablet, do not download the 8.1 update. Just plain 8.0 is perfectly fine. But there's something in the 8.1 that's not quite been, I, I guess, totally tested. Ah, uh, that sounds like something uh, Microsoft would do. All right, everybody sing along. NSA, NSA, everybody loves a NSA. Come on, Toss, join me. NSA, NSA, Is everybody loves a NSA. That's right, Snowden says he took no secrets or secret files to Russia. Now, come on, why would Russia be giving him asylum if he's not... Come on, his head is full of secrets. Well, there's an interesting interview with Edward Snowden uh, in the New York Times, and he talks freely about his decision to start collecting documents. Uh, his experience in reporting problems and abuse convinced him uh, he would be discredited. Uh, he also states he didn't have any of the document, uh, bring any of the documents to Russia, and that the uh, Chinese uh, don't have them either. Uh, what would be a uh, unique value? Uh, personally, carrying another copy of the materials onward. Uh, so there's zero percent chance uh, the Russians and the Chinese have received any documents. He stated. Um, yeah. Well, I don't know. This whole you know spying game worldwide spying issue is not going to go away it's part of our technology world it is complete you know nonsense in my opinion we have to deal with it whether we like it or not i wish the man the very best I, he's probably going through some kind of you know torture now with you know with what's been going on but uh i don't know what's going to be the end of this at least for him but i wish him the best well, Armageddon seems to think uh, that, uh, you know, uh, the, the Russian government uh, uh, gave him, uh, you know, uh, amnesty uh, just to tick off, uh, you know, the United States, you know, uh, and, you know, who knows? Maybe right. maybe, maybe he could maybe he keep, could be locked up in some uh, dank, dark, uh, you know, uh, you know, some dank, dark um, <laughs> dungeon somewhere. You can't even say you give like you, <laughs> you feel so bad for him. Yeah, with Vladimir Putin holding a cattle, cattle prod and uh, give me information. <laughs> yeah, Putin. What kind of name is that, Putin? You know, that almost sounds like profanity, Putin. <laughs> it almost it, it almost kind of rhymes with poop. <laughs> what you got, Toss? All right, well, moving on to some more nonsense. Battery, uh, you're, you're going to love this. Apparently, there is a uh, brand new feature in the iPhone 5S. And do you know what that is? Uh, what? Some of the phones apparently are suffering from the blue screen of death. 
Yes, I saw that ad not too long ago. Yeah. Um, I have, that was related yeah. to some application that came pre-installed on it, and I can't remember which one it was. You might be right. Uh, I, when I first got word of that, of course, you know, it's it's ironic because, and I think you and I talked about this, and uh, it's one of the few times we praised Windows, but in Windows 7, at least, I have not had a blue screen of that, but leave it to Apple and their state-of-the-art world phone to have that feature. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Yeah, I saw a video on YouTube, and uh, this person was uh, doing something in some application. And what happens is a blue screen pops up, and then all of a sudden, the phone just reboots. Uh, I just uh, don't remember what application it was. Right, right. Uh, look, I'm, I'm sure the phone is a fine phone, uh, although I believe that the uh, Apple, the 5C phone sales are not quite up to par, so they are scaling back production of that. But really, you know, if you want a, a state-of-the-art phone, in my opinion, you know, definitely choose the 5S over the 5C, or better still, go with the Galaxy S4. That is my phone of choice. Yep, and I say stick with the Android. Uh, you know, any of the Galaxy uh, phones are great. Um, I love it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, this is for some Cleveland uh, Browns uh, fans. I don't live too far from Cleveland, and I'm, I don't follow the Browns. I follow the Dallas Cowboys. But apparently, at least one of the fans is not too happy with the way the Browns are playing this year. And one of the Cleveland Browns fan. Oh boy, he posts a quarterback, the quarterback position on Craigslist. Oh, and you know, I this is not the way it works. Obviously, he's probably, <laughs> duh, he's probably just frustrated with the way the team is playing. But you know, who knows if he just got into an emotional rant? Uh, it's 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 not the right thing to do. But uh, I found it personally amusing since it's not my team. But look, I completely understand when your team. Any team does not play well, and the quarterback is not up to far par. I completely understand the situation. That's probably not something I would have, you know, would have done to insult anyone, if you know what I mean. Well, I, I was thinking about putting a uh, co-host position job up for uh, your show on Craigslist. <laughs> oh God! Oh, go go suck on some Vaseline again. <laughs> NSA! Everybody loves the uh, NSA. You've heard of that electronics company called uh, uh, Huawei, haven't you? I beg your pardon. Yeah, uh, they're yeah. There's the well, they're, they're electronic devices made by this company. I think it's pronounced YA or uh, uh, it's spelled H-U-A-W-E-I. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. You got it right, Armageddon. Yeah, Huawei or Huawei. Well, apparently, they're using this NSA scandal to turn the tables on accusations of spying. Now, Say what? Uh, yeah, uh, Huawei Technologies, uh, are the, chi the Chinese telecom giant banned from selling to U.S. government agencies due to its alleged ties to the Chinese intelligence services, is trying to turn the tables on its accusers by offering itself as a safe haven for customers concerned that the NSA has compromise, uh, compromised their own IT vendors. And they say in a quote, we have never... At been asked to provide access to our technology or provide any data or information on any citizen or organization to any government or their agencies. Uh, and that was uh, from uh, the deputy chairman, uh, Ken Hu. So, yeah, so apparently they're going to, you know, try and use this to their advantage. Ken Hu do who? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, his last name is spelled H-U, so I'm assuming that is who. Uh, like I said, this the spy thing is not going away. It's 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 completely nonsense, and I'll have more about this in the future. But look, this is our spy world, for better or for worse, and we better learn how to deal with it. Da 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 da. -da. Yes. Uh, let's see. Moving along uh, to the south uh, west. Um, well, that's oh, our I'm show sorry. tonight, folks. I'll catch you next week. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> What you got, Doss? You might appreciate this. Uh, a, apparently, a, an executive, uh, I'm assuming a cook or a chef for the Texas Motor Speedway, has a new beverage for its fans. Oh? This this is really disgusting. This is... <laughs> Here this, it comes, folks! 
I cannot make this stuff up. This is a... <laughs> Go <shut> ahead. <laughs> this... Well, come on, this, get it out already! This is a milkshake made of beer infused with bacon. <laughs> You're kidding me, right? I, I can, look, I cannot... Yes, I spend most of my waking days making stuff up. No, th uh, this... <laughs> The, wait, wait, wait. These are the ingredients. Hang on, I have it. Okay. Are you, it has six ounces of Blue Bell homemade vanilla ice cream, two ounces of baking syrup, of course, two, ounce, two ounces of candied bacon, and a half a bottle of something and son's ugly black lager, whipped cream, and bacon bits. Oh, where's my barf bag? Uh, yeah, I bet it looks like throw up. <laughs> yes, welcome to the uh, <laughs> welcome to the barfing motor speedway, folks. Yeah. <laughs> oh goodness, NSA, NSA, everybody Will you loves stop? NSA. All right, new EU rules to curb transfer of European data to the United States. New European rules aimed at curbing questionable transfers of data from EU countries to the U.S are being finalized in Brussels in the first concrete reaction to the Edward Snowden disclosures on the U.S. and British mass surveillance of digital communications. Regulations on European data protection standards are expected to pass the European Parli Parliament uh, Committee stage on Monday after the various political groupings agreed on a new compromise draft following two years of gridlock on the issue. I see a new potential TV show next year. Not the X-Files, but the Snowden Files. <laughs> yeah, really, it probably get a lot of high ratings, too, huh? Coming soon. All right, well, I have one last piece of nonsense. This was actually a few months ago, and I meant to say this before, but apparently, Spatry, a gentleman, is serving some jail time because he posted something on YouTube that you really should not be posting or even doing. He posted a tutorial on how to cultivate marijuana plants now f for all the you know newbies out there when you post something on the web it's for the world to see it's not something you can take down and these the but there is the potential for some well, why am i even saying this if, if if i have to explain it to you that it's too late okay but anyway don't post anything that you should not be posting to say the least yeah, but what if it was a tutorial and he says, well, in this example, obviously for legal reasons, we can't use uh, Mary Juwani. So instead, we are going to use this fern plant and I'm going to show you, you do the same. <laughs> sure, no problem. You can direct all your marijuana questions to Patrice Cup of Plants. <laughs> well, uh, I wouldn't even know how to do that sort of thing. And uh yeah, uh, and besides, uh, uh, my grass smoking days are long over. <laughs> yes, being replaced with Vaseline experimental days, I'm sure. Uh, anyway, did you ever do that tree nailing something to the tree? I forget what it was, like jello to the tree, whatever it was. No, I never got around to doing that. I don't have a tree in my backyard. Okay, well, never mind. Oh, okay. That's all I got, yep. Oh, I thought you said earlier you were going to um, throw some stones at me because of that uh, that uh, Ubuntu video thingy. Oh, I I already mentioned that. You know, I already said that. Uh, you know, I think this whole thing is 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 been blown out of proportion. Not 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 specifically at you, but the whole oh, thing. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. You know, look, I understand what you were saying. It's it's completely understandable for me personally as a dual booter. Maybe it's my Windows brain saying this. Ha ha ha. But I don't think it's that big of a deal. Once again, yes, that feature, that function cannot be opted out from the install. But once you install it, there will be plenty of tutorials like me, you, quids up, saying, hey, if you don't like this, if it bothers you, this is how you shut it off. And that's all I'm saying. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Well, all right. Well, that's it. Yeah, that's all I got too. Uh, thank you all of you for another uh, for joining us tonight on uh, the uh, Center Report, and I'm sure we'll be bound to have one again next week, possibly. So yeah, be sure to join us. It'll be either Saturday night or Sunday night. It's going to be Sunday night or Saturday night next week. Or are we just going to do a spur of the moment kind of thing here?
Uh, this evening was spur of the moment because tomorrow night I need to go to my friend's house and find out what's up with his Linux Mint install. I installed it like a few weeks ago. He loves it. It's fast. He doesn't have to worry about spyware. But he's having trouble playing Pandora and playing videos and YouTube. And I'm like, wait a minute. This is supposed to work out of the box. And Spatry, to be honest, I don't know what happened. Maybe the install was corrupted. I don't know. So I will be going there tomorrow evening. Okay, yeah, and I did see, was, you know, I think I did see that video. You have a video on this channel showing the guy's computer and that sort of thing. Uh, I, I, I yes. think you shot a video of that. Okay, yeah, that'll be interesting to see how that turns out. All right, well, once again, thank you, all of you, for joining us. Thanks to Voltem and the Linux distro community for, uh, for allowing us to have our shows here. And uh, we'll catch you all next time. Ciao. Adios. Thank you.